Okay, so this is a demonstration of uh, some of the components available at the Newboard Electronic website. And I'll just run through some of them over here. First of all, the whole system is, uh, as a whole basically is intended to be used to um, provide water to a plant um, when needed. Now, I've got a moisture, soil moisture sense in here. I've, I don't have any soil in here. I'm just testing the concept. Uh, um, but, okay, so it's effectively supposed to measure the amount of uh, moisture in whatever co uh, material is mixed in between. It does that by measuring the dielectric constant between them. Um, effectively measure, acting as a capacitor. So then connected to that or basically providing the information to the Arduino uh, for that soil moisture um, sensor, you know, it's part of one package, is this little drive in between connected to Arduino. Then I do have a heat sensor uh, module over here, a little heat sensor, um, and then a 5 volt relay which is connected to a valve. Um, and this is all powered by a 12 volt battery. So, um, okay, and then the valve is connected to a uh, just a bottle of water. There should be more water in, but in any case, so uh, that's a basic system. So, when I do have a display with this as well, it displays three values. The 22 that you see over there is a degree Celsius as measured by the um, temperature sensor. Then I have a what you see the 487 is the amount of s soil um, relative to 1024 um, that it's detecting. If it's full of water, completely full, then it will show very close to zero. Um, not completely zero, and when it's completely dry, it will be, well, roughly about 1000. So, in any case, so <coughs> when Arduino is programmed to, whenever this reaches, I believe, below 500, it should turn the relay on which effectively turns a valve on uh, or opens a valve and lets the water through from this side to that side. Now a quick way to test this is well exactly a system that I have over here shows you where 500 effectively is that amount of water mixed between well uh, you know all the petite probes but um, so just a little example of how to test this I'll take a I hope I can hold the camera up mixing this up um, so I'll just withdraw some water from here you can hear the relay switch and it's just um, there it go. Oh, let me go take some more water out here because it should be pushing oh you know that's what happens it's bad wire I didn't connect it proper. Oh yeah, and the 111 or 999 that you should see in there is where it's the state of where it should be, um, whether the valve should be on or open or not. So if it's 999, it should be closed. If it's 111, it should be open. So I'm just having a little bit of problems getting that connected up. And the second part of that. Okay, so here goes the water. Okay, so it's switched off. I'll just withdraw a little bit again. Okay, and as you can see, it's measuring 0.5. So, so it's switched on. Switched off. So I'll just put this little back in. I don't want to really waste this water. So just take that out again. You have a relay, whoop. So let's take this out just to show what happens. Remember, it's still a little bit wet. But you can see the 970 that it's displaying that's because well there's no water or no moisture and set it in here let me take it out again just to show the valve um <laughs> i mixed that up but in any case i think you, you see the point i guess also another point is to secure your wiring before making a demonstration uh, in any case uh hope that showed something at least